Hey, what's going on? It's the flea market falcon here. I soar high above the swap meet and then I'm swooping in to scoop up the deals. Now you're probably thinking, flea market falcon, what in the world? What happened was I got bit by a radioactive bird and this is the result. Hello. I'm the flea market falcon. I swoop in to scoop up the deals. All right. And when you're a flea market falcon, you love comics here. Uh, we actually got some pretty good ones, like a bunch of gold key Twilight Zones. You know, horror type comics from the 60s and 70s. UFO flying saucers, sci-fi ones. Turok. A long box is $100, which is a good deal, but the guy working here, he's actually offered these to me for cheaper than that. Let's see how much they are today. How much on the outside comics? Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I thought you left us. <laughs> I swooped it. Uh, <laughs> uh, how much on the outside comics uh, today? It says 100, but before you offered like, I think 70 bucks or something. Uh, oh, I think I would say I would do 75 for you for a long box. Uh-huh. And got this box right here for 75. He does have 10 cent comics inside, but these ones are a little bit more valuable. So had to pay, you know, a little bit more, but only really like 40 cents an issue. Got a whole stack of Boris Karloff, Twilight Zone, UFO, Flying Saucers, Tarzan of the Apes, Korak, Son of Tarzan, Turok, some 70s Tarzan here. We got some silver and bronze age comics. Now these ones aren't great condition, but you know, good reading copies there. Heck yeah. Got some DVDs and VHS. I'll grab this for $2, Star Wars Trilogy VHS, brand new. We got some WrestleMania 24 visors. The height and fashion right here. He wants $10 for the three, which isn't a bad deal, but it doesn't look like they sell very well, so I'm gonna skip those. There's my flock right there. Here at the next spot, the Sunshine Flea Market. Got a rose red in here. This is consistently a good seller for me, so I always grab it. It's only 50 cents. So one went through the trouble to frame VHS covers. DVDs over here found this live action Death Note one for one dollar. I'll grab that. Now over here we have a bunch of Dick Tracy stuff, some Batman Dragon Ball Z figures. It seems like they're gonna be expensive, but there's some good stuff here. So she wanted $10 each, and considering the value of these, that's an amazing deal. These Joker ones are worth about $100 each, so awesome deal right there. Let's check out this next spot here, Silver Moon Drive-In. Got some DVDs over here. Did you ever hear this movie called Coyote? Uh, yeah, I had it at home. Yeah, yeah, pretty funny. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. For what it is. It's pretty good. Yeah. All the movies to bring up, that's a random one. Yeah, Ooh, wrestling. Are you a big ECW fan? I have a few of them at home. And I grab these three right here. ECW, barely legal, pay-per-view. Shannon Tweed, firing line and took a chance on this one being valuable, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I didn't want to look it up right in front of the guy, but I think I might do okay on it. Ooh la la, the Matrix Steelbook Blu-ray. Got a bunch of CDs here, rap ones, 50 Cent, Ice Cube, Dr. Dre. We got like Snoop Dogg, E-40, Masterpiece, Silk the Shocker. Are those your CDs? Yes, sir. How much are those? I was going to try to get 25 bucks for both stands. Okay. There's, it's all good CDs. Every yeah. single one was a collection. So he was happy to sell all these for $25 and I was happy to grab them. We'll take a better look at these at the end of the video. Got real to real tapes over here. Going to grab this one, The Kingsman, featuring uh, Louis Louis. So $1 for this was a great deal. I couldn't find any on eBay, but one sold on a site called Discogs for $25. Oh, sir, I got some over here. What are you fishing for bargains? Yeah, that's what it is. Oh yeah, trying to snag in the good ones. Yeah. 
Ooh, over here we have a box of ephemera. How do we feel about ephemera? Are we a big fan of ephemera? Here's some KB Toys ephemera advertisement. Hand drawn, Michael Jackson. Did you draw this one? No. Didn't even know it was in there. Yeah. Did you like Michael Jackson? Yeah, he was all right. I had no problems with him. Yeah. I think they gave him a raw deal. It's got this Transformers comic. It looks like a rat took a bite out of it. Another drawing, Gremlins. This is the most 80s box ever. Yeah, can't get more 80s than that. He had a bunch of good stuff. Check out this vintage notebook, vintage sticker, Sorority House Massacre poster, Knight Rider color forms, another Gremlins picture. Grabbed a whole bunch of pictures here. Yeah. Pretty interesting pickup there. Hello, how are you? Good, man. How much on the games today? Uh, which one you want? Most of them are in really good condition. The Xbox ones could use a resurface. Yeah. Which ones you want to get? Interested in the uh, Grand Theft Auto and the... Uh, I think that one's just a little bit too scratched, but... I wish I had a resurfacer, but I don't. No. A couple of the local shops, man, they're, they're good guys, man. They're, We'll give you a good deal on it usually. Yeah. How much for Grand Theft Auto? Ten bucks. I'll do that. Pretty solid deal. I mean, especially if you get it graded. Yeah. It's a nice seal. There's no ribs, no tears. And how much are the comics? A dollar each. Nice. So ten dollars on this one is an awesome deal, new and sealed, as he said. There's some okay ones, NFL Street uh, one and two, but they're a little bit too scratched. And I'm gonna ask him about the turtles in time. How much are you asking on the turtles? I was asking thirty. Yeah. That's, Need, that, that's a good deal. Yeah. Need for speed? Five bucks. Five bucks. Give me, um. You wanted, um. Uh, this for sure. I'll do 30 for the three. 30 for the three? Yeah, I'll do that. Awesome. You actually have to check. This looks authentic. But uh, people like make bootlegs nowadays. Oh, yeah, no, no, that's, uh -huh. that's a. That's not a repo. I wanted to get five. Five for this one. I think I'll skip that, but I'll grab uh, these three. You want to do forty? You got. You can have the Castlevania and the Mario three. I turned the camera off for a second and he said he'll throw these in for $40 total. Great deal. Naruto, Super Mario Brothers 3, Castlevania Lords of Shadows, and these three you already saw. Okay, so you said 40 for these six? Yep. Awesome, yeah. So those video games were a great deal, but he also had these right here. Toxic Crusaders 1 through 4, Spider-Man, a Batman reprint, some more Spider-Man Tales from the Crypt reprints, New Mutants Annual. Spider-Man, Vision, and the Scarlet Witch one. Last, but certainly not least, Creep Show. This is a first print and very hard to find. A little bit of context here. I was looking at these cassette tapes and the sign guy told me about a rock band he doesn't like. This down here, I don't like Guns N' Roses. I think Guns N' Roses is pretty good. You don't like them? That's your Guns N' Roses impression? That's not singing, that's, that's yelling while high on that. Yeah. Even if you're up the creek, at least you have a paddle. That's right. <laughs>
back home now and something kind of interesting is you saw me buy this flyer but also the batman figures i bought are advertised on the front page right here they were 3.99 at the time uh, I actually sold this flyer also for twenty four eighty eight. It sold instantly after listing, and I could have maybe gotten more for it, but I'm happy with that price. So you might have been wondering, like, oh, why bother picking stuff up like this? It doesn't have value. Well, it actually does have some value. So pretty cool right there. And I remember this Christmas, I wanted the NES so badly. Uh, we did get the Game Boy, though. My parents just figured uh, we already had a Sega Master System, so no need to own two consoles. Uh, so, uh, you know, they got uh, me and my brother, we each got a Game Boy. Uh, so that's really cool. And then the next Christmas, we got the Sega Genesis. And yeah, really cool flyer here. I had that Double Dragon Tiger game right there. I also had this Play School flashlight. All right, so now it's time to take a look at these CDs. But before that, I realized I really didn't talk about these games very much. Uh, $40, that was an amazing deal. Uh, he knew that like these were valuable. He knew that this was new and sealed, but still. But only wanted 10 bucks for it. Great deal right there. So nostalgic seeing this new like that. Oh yeah, I played this game so much when it first came out. Also have like a Naruto game. Apparently that's worth about twenty twenty five. Uh, same with uh, Super Mario Brothers three on NES. Need for Speed Most Wanted on GameCube. That's about a ten dollar game loose. He also threw this in Castlevania Lords of Shadow. I do like the two D Castlevania is way better, but uh, I'm sure this one is pretty fun as well. And last, certainly not least, this alone is like a forty dollar game. Uh, Turtles four Turtles in Time. And it's a little dirty, but that's fine. But that can be cleaned up pretty easy. And if it was too clean, that's kind of a red flag that it might be a fake. Uh, but this is definitely a genuine one. So yes, very happy on that $40 score right there. Now let's look at the CDs right here. I like how he wrapped them in cellophane that made transporting them much easier. Getting this off though is kind of a pain in the rear end. Oh, have mercy. Okay, so I'm not the biggest rap expert, if you can believe that, but some very good stuff here. We got 3-6 Mafia, E-40, some LL Cool J stuff, Tupac. Nice. Ice Cube. Awesome. Easy E. Yeah. Got some Death Row stuff over here. The Dog Pound, Snoop Dogg Doggy Style. Amazing album. This right here. Now, some of these albums, you can kind of just tell by, like, the artwork that they're hard to find. I don't know if anyone else knows what I mean, but this just gives off a vibe that it's obscure. And yeah, varies in price. This one sold for $15 with free shipping and then goes as high as $22 with shipping. And like I said, I'm not an expert, so if you know anything about these albums, let me know in the comments. Got more over here. The game, Paul Wall. I'm pretty sure I found that at the Dollar Tree, 50 Cent. Two Live Crew and Luke from Two Live Crew. I actually can't show the covers of these. I don't want to risk being demonetized uh, because, you know, he gets pretty fresh on those. Here's another one that I'll definitely look up because, like, that just looks uncommon right there. Bone Crusher, that sounds interesting. This one, Poison Clan. It says Orlando, Florida on the back, so, you know, local to Florida group right here from the 90s. Okay. Trick Daddy, R. Kelly, he's more of a R&B guy. We got a bunch of these No Limit ones right here. These can have value, so good score on those right there when Snoop Dogg was on No Limit. There you go. Some more over here. I'm not even sure if this is a rap group, Jagged Edge. Rick Ross, Trick Daddy. Too short, there he is. We got Busta Rhymes, whatever this is, Cameron, these right here, Street Jams, Little Troy, Mob Deep. I was happy to get this one. I did have this on cassette, but I sold it because it was just too valuable. I got like $80 for it, so, you know, if you ever find that one on cassette, definitely grab it. I'm happy to have the CD, though. No idea what this is. Granddaddy Soap. Run DMC. This right here, Keith Murray, Dr. Dre, two classic albums. I had this way back in the day. I bought a bootleg copy of it at the flea market when it first came out, but Dre, you can't come after me. The Statute of Limitations is well expired by this point. 
Now the best album out of all of these is this right here, the Notorious B.I.G. Life After Death. Unfortunately, it's disc only with no case. We got these right here, More No Limit, Public Enemy, Pony Jam Express, another one I can't show the cover to. I think this is more like a drum and bass type group and local to Florida. We got a tribe called Quest here. So one of the members just died, a uh, Fife Dog. Bone. Digital Planets, I don't think they're rap, I think they're more, I don't know what they are exactly, more hip hop, I guess. I don't even know, but yeah, there it is. More CDs over here, but not really rap ones like Rick James. We got this one, I saw the side Joe, so I figured, you know, the artist formerly known as Fat Joe, but no, a different guy named Joe. There's two Joes, his name is Joe. But that's gonna do it for this video. I appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time around.